I want to talk to you about beta ectosterone by the fixer and go over some of the benefits of this. Now, beta ectosterone is a derivative of, it's basically a steroid, but not in the sense that you're thinking like sex steroids or androgenic steroids that you take for bodybuilding. Beta ectosterone is a plant steroid. Some that people even call it a bug steroid. So let's get into a couple of the benefits and how you can use it to your advantage. So first of all, beta ectosterone, I find this absolutely fascinating. It will help to build muscle and improve endurance. So if you're an athlete, if you're at the gym, if you're trying like I am to actually put on muscle at the age of 49, you'll know that it's a little bit difficult to do. Beta ectosterone can be used by men and women. This is just, this is not a dude supplement at all. Ladies, you can use it as well because it's going to help put on that lean muscle mass and increase strength and power really within about two to three months of use. So you're going to have to use it. It's not going to be a quick fix. They're going to, going to take it and you're going to go to the gym and have a killer workout. Now, I noticed that a little bit more with hormone fixer, but beta ectosterone, it's going to take some time to build up. Okay, so we also want to talk about it increasing testosterone. This is important for men and women. And this is kind of a component of it increasing your lean muscle mass and your strength because if your testosterone is low, you need some help. We want to bump that up. Testosterone is vital for males and females. Now, it's not going to increase testosterone like taking testosterone will. So if you have found that maybe you can't take testosterone because you get too many androgenic properties, this like the hair growth and the acne, right? This is going to be for you because it's going to nicely, gradually increase your testosterone. And ladies, yes, you can pair this up with Hormone Fixer. They're going to work in conjunction together to really improve overall performance, overall aesthetics. So you can get that lean, sexy muscle look. Okay. Other things that it will do. We talked about the muscle building, stimulation of muscle cell formation, that's anabolism, protein synthesis from amino acids. So you have to be getting in that protein in order to build that sexy lean muscle. We talk about this all the time. Bone remodeling and growth. So ladies, as your testosterone levels decline, and even as your estrogen and progesterone decline with age, we are looking down the pipe of increased osteoporosis. So ectosterone is something that you can add in in order to, and stack this with vitamin D, with magnesium, add this in so that you can improve your bone remodeling and growth to avoid osteoporosis and thus bones breaking more easily as we age. We don't want that. It's also been found to possibly improve immune function. So what we're seeing is that it increases the red blood cell number. It improves your quality of sleep. It improves tolerance to thermal stress, which I know I need because I have zero tolerance to heat whatsoever. Supports cardiac function and circulation, stimulates bone growth, like we talked about, and has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. So if you feel like you're an autoimmune ball of inflammation, this might be something to add in. It also helps improve insulin sensitivity. So what we found in a 2009 study, it found evidence that daily oral administration of ectosterone, it, this was done in rats at doses of 10 milligrams per kilogram of body weight for 13 weeks, ameliorated, got rid of obesity and insulin resistance. These rats were fed a high fat diet, but the supplementation seemed to prevent significant increases in body weight gain and body fat mass compared to non-treated animals. So plasma insulin levels and glucose tolerance were significantly lowered in the group given the ectosterone. So we can see the benefits of this. When I dive into the studies on this, it's like, oh, it's starting to, I'm starting to think like, this is a no brainer. Why aren't we all taking it? Right. Males and females alike. I mean, short of you being 20, 25, 30 years old and kicking ass in the testosterone and muscle department, this is going to be a good add on. Okay. Side effects. What are the side effects? So it's currently not banned or treated like a steroid. However, it is on the World Anti-Doping Agency, the WADA, 2021 monitoring program list, which means that WADA intends to gather more information about it to determine if it should be prohibited or not. Well, that should tell you that it probably works because 
They don't like any kind of world uh, anti-doping agency, especially for the Olympics. They don't like you to take anything that actually enhances performance like the Russians do. Coincidentally, this was joked about and and called something like the the Russian steroid or the the Russian supplement or something like because it performs so well and it kind of spiked the interest of WADA in terms of it improving athletic performance and muscle and strength. Um, let's see, what else are we seeing? Did not lead to symptoms of liver or kidney toxicity, seems to have few side effects. Um, uh, yeah, I mean it. It's pretty, the safety profile is A1, M1, honestly. And let's see, what else are we seeing? Yeah, no, this is pretty much complete. Ectosterone versus tercesterone. So you also see tercesterone by the fixer on there. Tercesterone is a bioactive compound. It's found in certain thistle-like plants, like milk thistle, uh, it has a long history of use in traditional medicine for anabolic and adaptogenic uses. Turkestrone, I like to use more with males than with females, although turkestrone can help increase one's muscle to fat ratio. It increases glycogen concentration in muscles and increases the ATP synthesis, just like thyroid fixer does. They can help your body remove lactic acid so you can recover from workouts better and so that you have a little bit more energy and endurance. Do I recommend beta ectosterone for both sexes? Absolutely, yes. Turkesterone, I recommend for males until further research is done on females. Go get it. Let me know what your thoughts are and what your actual results are.